Welcome, also on behalf of all colleagues in the project, to this video on the uh, terrestrial network positioning system. In this video we present the uh, design and architecture of this uh, positioning and timing system and we developed a working prototype which has been uh, deployed on the uh, Delft University of Technology campus. We'll take you on a tour. And finally we present a selection of uh, results from the experiments we carried out with the uh, prototype system. The two main features of the system are first the distribution of an accurate time and frequency reference generated by an uh, atomic clock in the uh, red box and do this over an optical fiber network shown in uh, yellow and second radio transmitters in the uh, green squares which are connected to the optical fiber and deliver wideband ranging signals to uh, mobile users. The atomic clock that we use is here at VSL, the Dutch Metrology Institute. Hi, Erik. Hi, Jeroen. Here we are in, at the, the VSL Time and Frequency Laboratory. Here we make the Dutch national time scale with these four atomic clocks. And then the signal from the time scale goes into the optical fiber there in the back. So this is the White Rabbit Grandmaster that transfers the, the Dutch time scale signal into an optical signal that comes out via this optical fiber and then via this panel we go outside the building. So the optical fiber goes from the atomic clocks here underground through a couple of data centers all the way to the campus of Delft University of Technology. Here we are at uh, Delft University of uh, Technology and specifically uh, at the Green Village, an experimental site where we uh, conduct our experiments. From the uh, technical uh, server room here at the uh, Green Village, the optical signal is uh, distributed to the uh, radio transmitters. Antennas of uh, six radio transmitters have been installed in lampposts and at uh, rooftop corners of buildings. They replace in this uh, terrestrial network positioning setup the GPS satellites, which each have to carry an atomic clock or even uh, several ones. This is an uh, overall impression of the uh, experimental setup with the uh, prototype system in a built-up area representing an uh, urban multiple environment. In the uh, red ellipses at left you see two of the uh, transmitter antennas and in the yellow ellipse in the middle the uh, receiver antenna fixed to a trolley. With this car we uh, conducted kinematic experiments at uh, low speed. In the middle you see the, uh, the white antenna to uh, receive the radio signals and on the two sides uh, prisms, optical prisms, uh, they are used for the uh, ground truth verification. Uh, these are positioned using uh, robotized land surveying equipment uh, and positioned at the, uh, the millimeter level. This graph presents for one of the runs TNPS position errors with respect to the uh, ground truth of the car. Using 20 MHz of bandwidth for the uh, radio signal, which is commonly used in uh, GPS, the position error is at the meter level as a result of uh, multipath that, that is by uh, signal reflections on uh, buildings around. Using 160 MHz of bandwidth, we gain almost a tenfold improvement in position accuracy, which is now at the uh, one decimeter level, as you can also see from the uh, RMS figures given uh, at right. Next to position, the uh, TNPS inherently provides time. For this particular run with the trolley, for a duration of uh, three and a half minutes, we connected also the receiver to the optical infrastructure for uh, verification purpose. So we see here constant clock offset due to uh, equipment hardware delays, which can be calibrated, and the uh, spread in terms of uh, standard deviation is only four centimeter, or just over a tenth of a nanosecond, which is uh, very good. As already said, in an uh, urban environment, using a wideband radio signal is key to obtain uh, these high accuracy positioning and timing results. And Gerard will uh, elaborate on how we generate the uh, wideband radio signal. Here you see uh, the demo uh, set up in the lab. The, this is the timing node, which is fed with the optical timing signal. Uh, the one pulse per second and 10 megahertz signals uh, are fed to the USRP which then is in, in a synchronized way transmits uh, the OFDM signal, which can be uh, either selected for 20 MHz bandwidth or 160 MHz bandwidth. 
The project, carried out by uh, Delft University of Technology and Vrije Universiteit University Amsterdam under the name of uh, SuperGPS, has been funded by the uh, Dutch Research Council NWO. Partners in the project are uh, KPN, VSL, OPNT and Fugro. And we also gratefully acknowledge the uh, support by all those listed at the bottom of this slide, as well as the members of the uh, project's user committee. Thanks for watching and we uh, hope that you enjoyed this video.